If you're mildly interested in technology, have read any news in the last couple of years, or live in the EU with an active email account, you probably know that data has become a huge buzzword. The government have data, companies have data, I've got data, you've got data, even your dog could have data. We're talking about digital data because technically this is a data storage device, but it's pretty hard to factor that in. Data is everywhere. It's in your phones, in your computer, and in the sky. This video is data. Data are about data, which makes it metadata, which is data that describes other data. And that definition of metadata, the data that describes other data, is also data in itself. As you can see, there's a whole lot of data, but before we get to the bottom of how much, let's talk about how we even measure it. You've probably heard of a kilobyte, megabyte, and gigabyte, but data measurements go way bigger than this, and the scale gets pretty insane. First, we need to go smaller. A kilobyte is a bit bigger than a byte. To be exact, 9,992 bits bigger. Bits are the smallest unit of measurement and are coded in binary, either one or zero. A single byte, which isn't written like a mouth byte, but instead like a hipster restaurant wanted to make the word cool, is made up of eight bits. And then a kilobyte is made up of a thousand of these bytes. Technically, there are multiple types of data measurement. The most widely used in computing would actually be kibibytes, mebibytes, and gibibytes. Long story short, this is called binary measuring and means that each step up is 1024 times larger than the previous. Knowing we're all pretty stupid and that kibibytes sounds like a Pokemon, most hard drive makers instead use decimal measurements like kilobytes, megabytes, and so on. This means that each step is a thousand times the previous one. There are some exceptions and then neither are used uniformly throughout most industries, but for the sake of this video and my sanity while I research it, I'm going to stick with the decimal measurement. So a megabyte is a thousand times a kilobyte and a gigabyte is a thousand times that. As with most numerical values, these can go on forever, but for our purposes, we can stop at a zettabyte. To understand how insanely big that is, if you started a HD video recording at the start of the Egyptian Empire at around 3150 BC, it would still be running now. And you would have only have made a small dent in the capacity. It would continue to film for another 30,000 years. One of the biggest hurdles in trying to measure data is the speed at which it's created and the acceleration of this creation. In the last two years alone, we've created 90% of all the data in the entire history of the planet. One of the big drivers in this rapid data creation are the increasing numbers of internet connected devices. You can hoover, boil a kettle, spy on your delivery guy, and turn up your thermostat so your cat thinks it's been teleported to the Bahamas, all from your phone. Now, although these devices can be pricey, the main benefit for the manufacturers is the data they're able to collect on you. Do you think Google would have spent $3.2 billion on Nest if it couldn't somehow get valuable information about you from it? Do you think Amazon would sell a tech product that's in such high demand for just 25 quid if you weren't telling it all of your worldly secrets? There are other changes in the way that we use the internet that have caused a surge in data creation. Every single minute of every single day, more than 97,000 hours of Netflix are streamed, over 2 million Snapchat messages are sent, and nearly half a million tweets are sent. That's a lot of Russian bots. This all amounts to a prediction that in 2020, on average, every person on the planet will make 1.7 megabytes of data every single second. In 2009, we created just 0.8 of a zettabyte. In 2013, it was up to four zettabytes, but it's predicted that in 2025, we'll be creating 163 zettabytes a year. If you stored all of that onto standard CDs and stacked them, you could reach Mars and back, twice. And you still have a few CDs left over to, uh, I guess, use as coasters or tree decorations or spaghetti measurers. I mean, who even uses CDs anymore? Oh, that seems safe. Thanks for watching my video all about data. I know you already create a lot of it, but I'd be grateful if you could create just a little bit more for me by commenting on this video. Tell me what you liked or hated, what you think about our impending data drowning future, or suggest a topic for a future video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos.